Bible question of the day. How do we know that Job was generous and helpful? We're going to look at Job 31, 16 through 25. So let's read it. If I have withheld the poor from their desire, or have caused the eyes of the widow to fail, or have eaten my morsel myself alone, and the fatherless have not eaten thereof, for from my youth he was brought up with me, as with a father, and I have guided her from my mother's womb. If I have seen any perish for want of clothing, or any poor without covering, if his loins have not blessed me, and if we, if he were not harmed with the fleece of my sheep, if I have lifted up my hand against the fatherless when I saw my help in the gate, then let mine arm fall from my shoulder blade and my arm be broken from the bone. For destruction from God was a terror to me, and by reason of his highness I could not endure. If I have made gold my hope, or have said to the fine gold, Thou art my confident. If I rejoice because my wealth was great, and because my hand had gotten much. So, this question, how do we know that Job was generous and helpful? We're going to go to verse 1. You see where this scripture is speaking of Job's, Job asserts his integrity. This is what makes him helpful. Job 31 verse 1 says, I made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think upon a maid? So there's something that he did that made him helpful. So let's look at the definition of a covenant. H 1285. We have an agreement that he made. This agreement or alliance you can have between God and man. He's making an agreement with his eyes. This is agreement for God, between him and God. And he's not going to break it. He's going to keep this agreement. What was that agreement? With his eyes. That he will not think upon a maid. That is the agreement that he made between him and God, and that's what makes him helpful.